The switchboard is nothing more than a form that you can customize with a bunch of command buttons that the front end user can go ahead and click on to open up a form or report. For example, as opposed to using the navigation pane, if the front end user comes over here and they're looking at my forms to update the customer information, which one do they use? Customers, customer info, contact. Well, unless I clearly label the forms here, they could get lost. Maybe I have one form that I want to replace another form with. Well, if they open up the wrong form to add the customer information to update it, well, I could have data integrity issues. Instead, I can go ahead and create that switchboard that has a button that when they click on it, will open up one form here. In other words, I can control what they have access to when it comes to forms and reports. Well, not only that, but tables and queries. In that, I can go ahead and hide the navigation pane here, which I'll show you how to do in a later training video. But really, they don't need to see the tables or queries, at least in my database, because remember, forms are based upon queries and tables, and also the reports as well. So I can limit them to just the forms and reports from the switchboard. So to go ahead and create the switchboard, I want to come up here and customize the Quick Access Toolbar to add the uh, Switchboard Manager command. Go ahead and right-click on it, go to Customize, click on Popular, go to All Commands, and then scroll down all the way down to the S's to find the uh, Switchboard Manager, which is right there. Double-click. I'm going to go ahead and select it and move it down so it's right after the Redo command. Click OK, and there it is. Go ahead and click on it. Access says, hey, we can't find a Switchboard Manager in the database. Do you want to go ahead and create one now? Yes. Go ahead and click on it. It does three things. One, it brings up the Switchboard Manager, which we'll cover in just a second. And then, as you recall, the uh, Switchboard Manager is a form. So there's the form right here, but it doesn't have any items or command buttons on it yet. And remember, the form is always going to be based upon a table. So it created the Switchboard Items table. So for every item or command button that we add to the form, it's got to keep track of it somehow, so it's going to store that data within the uh, Switchboard Items table. So now, back to our main Switchboard. We can go ahead and edit that and add the commands to it to open up, well, if we had 30 forms we wanted them to have access to and 40 reports. I mean, don't junk up the main switchboard with a, a total of 70 buttons in this example or so many. Instead, we can go ahead and break this down and split it off from the main switchboard to, let's say, have a report switchboard and a form switchboard. Because those who want reports don't need to look at forms and those who want to look at forms don't need to see the reports. So I don't need to junk up the main switchboard. What I can do is I can create two additional switchboards that I could go ahead and have it link or have them obtain access to those other switchboards from the main switchboard here. So to create those additional ones, go ahead and click New. Let's go ahead and type in, hit Enter, click New again, and then we'll have... Now, I can type in Form Switchboard where it's going to list all the forms, but for people who really aren't familiar with access when it comes to updating data, think of it more along their terms. I call it forms because that's what they're going to have access to, but you can call it like the maintenance switchboard, you know, to maintain the data. So I'll type that in. Hit enter. Now, from the main switchboard, we got to have command buttons that they can click on to get access to the maintenance switchboard and the reports. So go ahead and select the main one, click on edit, and then click new to add the first item. Now I'm thinking of the first item, and I want it to be the customer information form on the main switchboard. In other words, I don't have to have it linked strictly to other switchboards from the main, but I can add, well, some forms and reports. The reason why I'm thinking about the customer info is that that's what our front-end users do most of the time, is adding new customers. So instead of having them to go through the main switchboard to the uh, maintenance switchboard that contains that form, just have it right on top of the uh, main switchboard. Okay, So it's the customer info. And when they click on it, I don't want them to go to another switchboard, but instead, to go ahead and open up a form, you can open up a report. Well, you got other applications and macros, but notice it doesn't list tables or queries. And for the sake of this training video, we're just going to go ahead and open up a form or a report. Now, when you open up a form, you can do it one of two ways. You can either open it up in add mode, which means that you're adding a new record, or in edit mode, which displays all the records that are available, and then you can go ahead and find the uh, record that you want to edit. So for customer info, we're always adding new customers, so we'll just say go ahead and open up in add mode. Which form is it? Well, it's going to be the customer info form. Click OK. And then let's go ahead and from the main switchboard, like you say, not junk it up too much, but add those two other uh, switchboards that they can access to from the main switchboard. It's going to be new, and it's going to be the run reports. Go to the switchboard. It's going to be the uh, report switchboard. Then we'll go ahead and click new again, and we'll call this the maintain data switchboard. So we'll go to the maintenance switchboard, click OK, 
And let's do one more. Click New. We're going to go ahead and select Exit Application that way. When they're done with the database, they can go ahead and click on this button. It'll close the application, but not the program. Click OK. So now, from the main switchboard, we have command buttons that, when they click on it, will take them to the customer info form, the report switchboard, the maintain data switchboard, and then, of course, to close the application. So we want to go ahead and close out of here. And once we take them down to the maintenance switchboard and report switchboard, we want to be able to have items there that they can click on to, you know, open up the forms and the maintenance switchboard and open up reports. And not only that, but to link it back to the main switchboard. So when we're done with our reports and we want to go back, we've got to have a button that takes us back, right? Otherwise, we're stuck. So I'm going to go ahead and select Report Switchboard, click on Edit, and add some items here. Click New. Category Sales, click on the drop down arrow. We're going to open up the report here. Click on the drop down arrow, and it's going to be the uh, Quarter 1 Category Sales. Click OK. Let's go ahead and click New again. Final Report, it's going to open up a course report, and it's going to be the final report for Quarter 1. Click OK. And then, of course, we need a button that takes us back to the main switchboard. So when we're done with our reports and we want to go back to the main and from the main to get to the forms, let's go ahead and click New. And we want to go back to the main switchboard. Click OK. OK. Let's close out of that. Let's go ahead and add an item to our maintenance switchboard. Click on Edit. Click on New. Click on the drop down arrow. We want to open up the form in edit mode. I mean, we already have the uh, customer info form that we open up in add mode. To add new customers, this one will open it up in edit mode, this form. So I can show you the difference between the two. And we want to go ahead and edit the form categories here. Click OK. And you get the idea here how to add them. I'm going to go ahead and add a back to main button here. So let's go ahead and take us back to the uh, main switchboard and click OK. and there we go. Let's go ahead and take it for a test drive. Let me close out. Close out of here. And if I need to make any changes, like I made a mistake, just come back up here, click on the uh, switchboard manager to bring it back up, and then select the uh, switchboard, click edit, make the changes, okay? Close out. And then let's go ahead and open up the switchboard form. Double click. Now, this doesn't look good, but you know how to uh, redesign your forms and reports, so I'll leave that up to you. But the main functionality of what I'm trying to accomplish here is here. So we have the customer info, there's the corresponding button that when I click on it, it opens up the customer form here, but in add mode, that's why you don't see a list of all the customers because we're adding another customer here. So I can go ahead and close out of here, run reports, click on that, it takes me to the uh, report switchboard, in which case I can go ahead and uh, view the uh, category sales report. Cool. Close out, we can go back to the uh, main switchboard, and then from there, go to maintain data, where we can edit the categories. So it opens it up, lists all the records here, and I just need to navigate to the record that I want to make changes to or edit. We can go ahead and close out of that. Go back to the main form here, and then when we're finished, we can go ahead and close the application. It closes out of the uh, database, not the uh, access program. I'm going to go ahead and open it back up. It was the most recent file here up at the top here. Click on it, brings it back up. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.